1 Corinthians 11, 16, and 17. 1 Corinthians 11, 16, and 17. But if any man seem to be contentious, anxious to dispute a matter, presumes to raise objections on this, if, however, anyone still thinks it right to contest the point, have no such customs, acknowledge no other mode of worship, can say we, that we have no such custom. I, for my part, no other practice in worship than this. Neither the churches of God or in any congregation of God's people, the assemblies of God's. So what it's saying is, we should not go against God's word. No matter what our opinions are, his word stands. We should not go in a way that hinders people from following God, or teach in a manner that does such. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not. Following instructions, I do not commend you. And these injunctions I must mention on practice, which I cannot condemn. Command. That ye come together not for the better, but for the worse, holding your assemblies in a way that does harm. Not good. You know, we as Christians, our first motive for coming together should bring God praise and honor and do good in His name. But they were gathering together, doing harm, causing division, belittling the name of Christ, which was awful. <laughs> 